it's getting dark outside and every night after I go to bed my dog starts to bark like crazy now I'm not sure what's going on in my backyard but something's driving him nuts so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the DCS 932L it's a day night camera and stick it outside and we're gonna see what's going on in the pitch black of the night we're gonna set it up with motion detection and email alerts so we don't have to stand out here all night long to see what's going on and tomorrow morning we can look at our inbox and see the images of what happened last night Like I said before, the best way to capture these creatures in the night and not have to stay up all night monitoring the live feed from my laptop or iPhone will be to use the motion detection feature along with email alerts. This way, I'll have images of any unwelcome animals taking up residence in my backyard in my inbox tomorrow morning. Now I've already set up my outgoing email server settings, also known as SMTP server settings, for my camera on the MyDLink website. If you aren't quite sure what your SMTP server settings are, usually a quick search on the web for SMTP server settings and your email provider like Gmail, Hotmail, or Yahoo will help you find your email server settings. You know, the other great thing about the MyDLink website besides letting me watch the live camera feed remotely from my laptop or iPhone is being able to manage my camera settings there too. I can never quite remember what the IP address is of my camera so it just makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker. So let's take a look at some of the settings we're going to use. First, as you can see, I'm already logged in to the MyDLink website. We'll go over to camera settings, open up the camera web page, and this is going to give me all the camera settings uh, that I can adjust. And the first thing that we're going to do is make sure that my email server settings are there. And as you can see under email account, all my server settings are there for my Gmail account. Down below you'll see the time schedule will enable uh, emailing of images to this email account, set up motion detection, and email the attached frames. We'll save those settings, click on motion detection on the left hand navigation, and you'll see that we'll have different detection areas. Uh, we'll enable motion detection and we want to block out any areas to monitor because we want to monitor the whole uh, window. We'll save those settings and that's it, we're done. Now that our camera is set up, we need to draw that rodent, creature, pest, whatever it may be into the camera frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a plate of food to get them in. But the problem is we don't know what kind of animal it is so we don't know what kind of food they eat. So we're going to have a whole smorgasbord of food here for them to eat. Alright, so we got all of our stuff. We got our bait, we got our camera, we got our extension cord. This seems to be the spot that we're going to set up our surveillance. Uh, we have the lights on right now for you guys at home to see what we're doing, but we'll be turning those off so we don't scare away any of the creatures. Uh, we'll set it up right here. We'll have the camera just about a foot and a half back from the plate so we get a nice clear image all right okay we got a green light Wi-Fi set up uh, we're connected It's all set up. We should get a good shot of any creatures that come by uh, for a little snack. Uh, but for now, I'm going to bed. The next morning, I checked my inbox hoping to find something pretty interesting. At 1.30 a.m., we did see this picture. We looked pretty interesting. However, then we saw the next picture and the following picture and established that it was just a cat. Then at 2.17 we saw another cat. At 5.29 a.m. we saw a bird. And that was about it. At 6 we let my dog out. He finished off the plate and that was it. Not too exciting, but at least we found out what was in our backyard. 